Alexa, Ramadan Karim. And Ramadan Mubarak to you. Alexa, do you know the Prophet Muhammad? Muhammad was an Arab religious, social, and political leader and the founder of Islam. Alexa, do you know Holy Quran? According to Wikipedia, the Quran, also Romanized Quran or Quran, is the central religious text of Islam, believed by Muslims to be a revelation from God. It is widely regarded as the finest work in classical Arabic literature. It is organized in 114 chapters, which consist of verses. Alexa, do you know the month Ramadan? Ramadan begins at sundown next Tuesday the 13th of April and ends at sundown on Thursday the 13th of May 2021. Alexa, Happy Ramadan. And Ramadan Mubarak to you. Alexa, are you fasting? I'm here to help people who are. Alexa, can you read some Holy Quran? Listen to Holy Quran for just seven pounds and ninety-nine pence with an Audible membership. Your membership will automatically renew every month. Cancel any time. Full terms are in your Alexa app. Would you like to start an Audible membership for seven pounds and ninety-nine pence a month and begin listening? No, thank you, Alexa. Okay, here's a sample. If you change your mind, just ask me to join Audible. This is Audible. The Holy Quran, English translation of the Arabic text, with commentary by Maulana Muhammad Ali. Published and copyrighted by Ahmadiyya Anjuman Nishat Islam Lahore Incorporated USA in Columbus, Ohio. Narrated by Robert Adams in North Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, 2011. Chapter 1, Al-Fatiha, The Opening, Introduction. The Fatiha, or the opening, is known under various other names. It's spoken of as the seven oft-repeated verses in the Quran itself, chapter 15, verse 87, because its seven verses are constantly repeated by every Muslim in his prayers. It is spoken of as the Fatihat al-Kitab, or the opening of the book, in a saying of the Holy Prophet, in which it is said that no prayer is complete without the recitation of Fatihat al-Kitab. Reference B. 1095. Hence it is also called Surat al-Salat, i.e. the chapter of prayer, being essential to every prayer, whether performed in congregation or in private. It is also called Surat al-Dua, i.e. the chapter of supplication, because the entire chapter is a supplication or a prayer to the great master. It is also known as Umm al-Kitab, i.e. the basis of the book, because it contains the whole of the Quran, as it were, in a nutshell. Some of the other names given to this chapter are the praise, the thanksgiving, the foundation, the treasure, the whole, the sufficient, the healer, and the healing. Al-Fatiha contains seven verses in a single section and was revealed at Mecca, being without doubt one of the earliest revelations. It is a fact that the Fatiha formed an essential part of the Muslim prayers from the earliest days, when prayer was made obligatory, and there is a vast mass of evidence showing that this happened very early after the Prophet's call. For not only is the fact referred to in the earliest revelations, such as the 73rd chapter, but there are also other historical incidents showing that prayer was observed by the earliest Muslim converts. The chapter is headed by the words Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, 
which also had every one of the other 113 chapters of the Holy Koran, with the exception of one only, the ninth. Well, the same sentence occurs once in the middle of a chapter, namely in chapter 27, verse 30, thus occurring 114 times in the Holy Koran. The phrase has besides acquired such a wide usage among the Muslims that it's the first thing which a Muslim child learns. And in his everyday affairs, the Bismillah is the first word which a Muslim utters. The Bismillah is the quintessence of the chapter Fatiha, in the same manner as the latter is the quintessence of the Koran itself. By commencing every important affair with the Bismillah, the Muslim, in fact, shows in the midst of his everyday life affairs that the right attitude of the human mind towards the great mind of the universe is that it should always seek a support in the Mighty One, who is the source of all strength. And faith in God thus finds expression in the practical life of a Muslim in a manner unapproached anywhere else in the history of religion. The Fatiha has a special importance as a prayer. Its oft-repeated seven verses constitute the prayer for guidance of every Muslim at least thirty-two times a day, and therefore it has a much greater importance for him than the Lord's Prayer for a Christian. There's another difference, too. The latter is instructed to pray for the coming of the kingdom of God, whereas the Muslim is instructed to seek for his right place in that kingdom which had already come the hint no doubt being that the coming of the prophet was really the advent of the kingdom of God, about whose approach Jesus preached to his followers. Mark chapter 1 verse 15 The prayer contained in this chapter is the sublimest of all the prayers that exist in any religion, and occupies the first place among all the prayers contained in the Koran itself. A chorus of praise has gone forth for it from the greatest detractors of the Holy Koran. The entire chapter is composed of seven verses, the first three of which speak of the four chief divine attributes, namely providence, beneficence, mercy, and requital. That's the end of your sample. Listen to Holy Koran for just seven pounds and ninety-nine pence with an audible membership. Your membership will automatically renew every month. Cancel any time. Full terms are in your Alexa app. Do you agree and wish to start an Audible membership now? No, thank you, Alexa. Okay. If you change your mind, you can join Audible at audible.co.uk.